there is a lot to be desired in the equipment tie down world okay load securement tractors on trailers could be skid steers could be cars could be all sorts of stuff okay so the three things i've got a problem with one why aren't equipment manufacturers designing most of this equipment with tie down points in place already they know people are hauling this equipment around come on go above and beyond give us those load securement points that we need when we're towing our equipment Trailer manufacturers aren't off the hook either, okay? I had to custom add all sorts of stuff to my gooseneck trailer here in order to have enough tie-down points for the various equipment that I'm gonna be hauling down the road. And lastly, what about these load securement professionals themselves, the ones that design the equipment, the, the straps, the chains, the binders, all that kind of stuff. What's up with that? Why the lack of creativity? Ratchet straps, chain binders, come on. This is old technology. Yeah, sure, keep it simple, stupid, right? But you know what? I like new technology. I like things that make life easier, that make life smarter. I just appreciate innovation. So with all that said, I've got three products here. One to help with your equipment, one to help with that load securement, one to help with the trailer. I'm telling you, these are gonna fit a variety of applications, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned and see what these are all about. Oh, and if you haven't done so yet, Hit that subscribe button right underneath the video. Read through that description as well. You'll have all sorts of links for these products here as well as other really cool tractor, truck, and trailer products too. And make sure you check out the other videos on my channel. Okay, so the first product up here that we are gonna take a look at is a steak pocket D-ring. Now this isn't really an ideal way to secure equipment right through here. And the reason for that is because at some point you need to go outside the rub rail, all right? And so that means you're gonna be exposed here potentially if you sideswipe something or get sideswiped, it could damage your securement point here, therefore making your securement point to your equipment that's on your trailer completely ineffective. Well, so that's where this stake pocket D-ring comes into play, all right? You just pull this little pin out here and it is a snug fit, which is good, but it's adjustable, okay? You can put it in any of the stake pockets along your rail. You simply slide it down in there. You're gonna put this pin through the bottom, like so. And boom, away you go. So what do you notice here, okay? So of course your securement point isn't gonna be involved with going outside of the rub rail. Instead, it's gonna be right here on the D-ring. Also, take a look at that. It even works with a ratchet strap just like so. Or, as you might have guessed, throw some chain through there as well. Either way, what this does is keeps your securement point, your strap, your chain, whatever it might be, well inside the edge of the trailer here. That way you're not gonna have any concerns over here. But not only that, it gives you that flexibility all along the rail with all the stake pockets to have more tie down points and get a better chance of proper load securement. All right guys, well you know, I am a big fan of ratchet straps, all right? And part of that reason, not the entire reason, but part of that reason is because I feel like you can get such a secure, tight connection between the trailer and the equipment, right? That ratchet is very easy to use, very easy to handle, and you can just crank it down easily, quickly, simply, and get that secure feeling and that requirement that you need to safely transport your equipment. Well, lo and behold, Ankara, one of the, uh, the world's largest load securement manufacturers, happened to see one of my videos in the past about load securement and thought they might have some cool products that I should highlight. Ratchet straps are working just fine for me on all of the tractors that I have. However, I picked up a skid steer and as you might know, those skid steers are pretty darn heavy. And we were just using like eight straps to get this skid steer tied down securely. And, and I had binders like this, but they were old and nasty. So I went ahead and bought some new ones just like this as well. So we could go ahead and get things secure. But then I remembered we had this easy binder right here as well. Well, after tying down the skid steer just a couple of times with this old traditional style of chain binder here, I quickly realized just how amazing this is. And so I ended up buying three more of these, okay? They did give me this one to try out, but I ended up buying three more of these because they are just so incredibly easy to use. They give you that firm, snug feeling that you want. That is a challenge to get. And it's not only tightening them down, but it's then loosening them back up. It's just a real pain in the butt to use these things right here. The best thing I can do is show you just how easy it is to use this easy chain binder right here. Well, so as you might have guessed, you have this arrow here pointing up. So you're typically going to uh, kind of point that, you know, imagine the highest point on your chain there. Open it up. It's going to have a just a little latch like that right there. Just open it up just like that. 
go ahead and just hook that on. The magic of this whole thing is it doesn't matter if you pull every single one and get it just as tight as you possibly can. You don't need to wrestle that and worry about getting it all the way in that last link, okay? Not a big deal. Just get it relatively tight and then just hook it on. Let's put it right there on that. You can see there's a lot of slack there. All right, so kind of hold that up. Pull right here. See how I just pulled the other end? Just like that, okay? And hold that so you kind of keep the slack out. And then just tighten it right up. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that crazy? So to release this bad boy, it's very simple as well. Simply pull right there, rock it all the way open, and you break it free. Undo there, and you're off. Well, now this last item here is gonna be for the equipment itself. And this is going to apply to John Deere tractors, some Kubota tractors with more models to come as well, but it's gonna be tie down points for the equipment itself. You're staring at a couple of those points right here on this tractor in particular. You're gonna have one right here, you're gonna have one up here, and then there's also gonna be one on the backside as well. This is the challenge with tractors in general and a lot of other equipment is where do you safely tie down the equipment? One, you wanna make sure that you're protecting the equipment so that you're not damaging anything once you're tightening it down. Two, you wanna make sure it's not gonna move around. And three, you wanna make sure it's not gonna get cut on anything either. So this right here is an example of a tie down point for a John Deere 3E series tractor. So they are coming out with new products all the time, but these are CNC machined. You're not gonna see any welds on here. They're DOT compliant. Gonna match right up with existing hardware that's already on your machine. So it's a very practical, very economical way to get that added measure of safety. Right here, this is a great look of the rear plate. This is for a John Deere 1025R. You got the integrated tie down points. You got your two inch receiver. You even got a pinhole here for garden carts and whatnot as well. Great multi purpose all around product. You simply take the flat existing plate out, reuse the same hardware here, and bolt this on in its place. And as you can see, you just fish this right through. Again, there's no welds on here. CNC machine uses the existing hardware, multi purpose too and DOT compliant. How about that? Now, in case you were curious, they also do make these grab handles right here, mirror mounts as well. Look at that, even a step to get up onto your tractor. All right, guys, well, a great look right here at the three pieces in unison being used for load securement. You have the stake pocket D-ring, you got the easy chain binder, and you got the MUDS Customs tie down point for your equipment. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button right underneath the video. Make sure you check out the other videos on my channel. And if you want one of these products, you got to read through that description right underneath the video. All sorts of links down there where you can get these products. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.